America is officially in a recession, and what's more, we have been for a year. Ned Hibbert is here with that story. Ned? Yeah, it turns out, Mike and Melissa, the start of that recession, the recession we're currently in, actually dates back to last December. That, according to the National Bureau of Economic Research, it's really no surprise if you've been paying any attention. This whole year, the pie has been getting smaller. This whole year, people have been losing jobs. This whole year, production has been shrinking. This whole year, not one thing has been growing. The average recession lasts 10 months. This one, it turns out, has already hit 11. It shows no sign of turning around, says radio host Daniel Frischberg, and neither do the financial markets. We're nowhere near the end of the travail, and I know that every time it starts going up and sucks people in, they will lose their money. Applause and a backbeat greeted Ben Bernanke in Austin, the Fed chairman, trying to restore the heartbeat of American commerce with interest rate reductions, dropping the benchmark to an historical low of 1%. Although further reductions from the current federal funds rate target of 1% are certainly feasible, at this point, the scope for using conventional interest rate policies to support the economy is obviously limited. Translation, the Federal Reserve has no more tricks up that particular sleeve. It is out of ammunition to some extent. To Rice economist John Diamond, anointing the current economic contraction as a recession is almost beside the point. So I think we all knew we were in a recession. The question was, and the question that they were answering was, when did it start? And that is an important question for anyone who tracks business cycles, and it begs yet another question of wider interest. When will it end? I'm Ned Hibbard, Fox 26 News.